The Girl Gamer Esports Festival will be holding the world finals of the event in Dubai at Maidan 1 this December. It's important to promote all the gender uh, balance that is happening in the region well, with so many powerful women. Uh, later in the elections, it's also going to be raised to 50% of women representation in the parliament. So it's, it's incredible and we believe that this needs to be put out there. Girl Gamer Esports strives to provide a comfortable and safe space for women to grow their gaming skills and have fun doing it. We think that there's a lot of um, uh, barriers that women need to go over in order to even start competing at the same level and this involves um, online discrimination, online bullying, uh, so they have to overcome all these, these barriers just to start playing at a, at a competitive level. And then sometimes even when they are very competitive and master level on their game, they're still not admitted into one of these professional teams because, well, they're mostly male teams, male-dominated teams right now, and the team owners are concerned of inserting a girl into an environment full of other guys, for other guys, that will create instability in the team's communication and all of that. So basically, even if they play really well, they are still discriminated solely based on their gender. Paul Roy, CEO of local gaming organization Galaxy Race Esports, is optimistic that the talent pool in this region will greatly benefit from this event. Uh, women account for about a third of all gamers globally, and they account for about 40% of all esports viewing. But in terms of professional esports representation, less than 0.1%. They had a Fortnite tournament in the US, and in fact there's an article that came out that not one of the top 100 players was a woman. Right? Not because, and the thing is, the game, esports is probably the only sport on the planet where w women have, I mean, men don't have any distinctive advantage over a woman. Mm. Right? Uh, there's no physical advantage, no mental advantage, so you'll find very, a lot of cases when the women actually go around and beat the man. So what they've done very well is to give a spotlight on the platform to women itself, and uh, there will come a point when you'll start seeing more and more all-inclusive teams and women competing against men. It's already started. There are a few professional organizations in the U.S. that have started to bring in uh, female players onto their roster. Um, it'll change. It'll change very quickly. In the industry is so young itself, so it's, it's going to take a little of time, but it's, it's happening. Attracting the mega gaming event is part of Government of Dubai Media Office's strategy to drive the development of the industry in the region. Logan Fish for Golf News. Thank you.